Hey there, today we're going to be taking a look at The Witcher 3 Enhanced Edition running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5500U and we're going to be comparing it with all of the different memory configurations I can set on this laptop right now. So that is 8GB of RAM, 12GB of RAM, and 16GB of RAM. At some point I will be getting in the 32GB kit so we'll be able to actually test out 32GB of RAM as well as 24GB of RAM. But for right now this is all that I have right here. We are going to be testing the game at its lowest in-game graphics settings but we are using FSR and it's FSR set to ultra performance, which I do not recommend that you use. I'm only using it to show the maximum difference in terms of performance, but realistically speaking, it just doesn't look that great. And at the lowest that I would go is really just a performance preset. Ultra performance is just way too aggressive. But running the game with the lowest in-game graphics settings, FSR set to ultra performance, but texture set to the high preset, this is the performance that we're getting out of all of the different configurations here. There does seem to be a noticeable drop off that happens when you go down from 16 gigabytes of RAM, where 16 gigabytes of RAM pretty much gives us an above 30 FPS gaming experience with 1% lows that dip only slightly below that. 12 gigabytes of RAM is really falling apart here, but it is made to look practically perfect by comparison with 8 gigabytes of RAM, which is really starting to struggle here. Which is not surprising, if 12 gigabytes of RAM is already giving us these kinds of issues, then 8 gigabytes was going to fall apart. So it really seems like if you're trying to play this game with any semblance of playability, you're going to need 16 gigabytes of RAM, and if you want this to actually not look like absolute garbage, then you're going to have to use FSR set to performance. But if you try to use balanced or quality, just know you're going to have a very consistently below 30 FPS gaming experience. So this is a very, very demanding title. I'm just running around essentially the same area here because the game doesn't have a built in benchmark. So I just ran around the same area for about 10 minutes on each one just to make sure that all shaders were loaded in and everything. And the performance was pretty much just going to stay consistent without any major fluctuations or anything. Now, interestingly enough, when I set the texture quality to the absolute lowest on both the 8 gigabyte configuration and the 12 gigabyte configuration. You can see here that the 12 gigabyte configuration was still taking a noticeable hit in terms of performance when it came to the averages and even 1% lows. And this was after testing it multiple times with multiple restarts and everything just to make sure that there was nothing weird happening or anything like that. And the results were very consistent. This just kept happening. So what I'm assuming is happening here is that that mismatched configuration of RAM is really causing issues when it comes to bandwidth and that is really causing issues in terms of our 1% lows and our averages here. It isn't a drastic drop in performance but it is noticeable and measurable as you see everything is just nicer and more consistent with 8 gigabytes of RAM here so it's a very interesting development here. It might be a problem if you have 12 gigabytes of RAM which is funny to think that having more RAM might actually cause you issues in this title but a mismatch configuration is just going to mean that you're not really running at a full dual channel. There's only a certain amount of RAM that gets dual channel and then the other part has to be single channel. And with 12 gigabytes of RAM, we are starting to put textures and stuff like that onto that slower single channel portion of the RAM. So it ends up actually causing us some issues here. And that's my assumption based off of just the testing that I've seen here. It could turn out to be something completely different, but that seems to be the most likely cause here. So if you're looking to actually play this game, I would recommend 16 gigabytes of RAM at a minimum. If you can get 32, go for it because then you can turn up the textures all the way to the ultra. In fact, they actually have an ultra plus setting. High is actually the medium texture setting based off of what they actually have available, which is interesting to see. But anyways, I will catch you guys in the next one.